Hey everybody, Spencer Campbell from MrCampbellRocks.com. I'm a former middle school and high school English teacher now working as an administrator, helping teachers um, improve in the classroom. So today what we're gonna talk about is how to add a co-teacher to Google Classroom. And before we jump in and show you how to do it, let's talk about why you would want to do it. Uh, there's three big reasons why you wouldn't want to add a co-teacher to a Google Class in Google Classroom. First, if you're currently a co-teacher or an IEP teacher that works with a specific teacher in your building, now that a lot of teachers, actually most schools are out of their buildings, you would wanna be able to collaborate in that classroom together, assigning assignments, looking at assessments, uh, following up with students, maybe working through some modifications or accommodations in that Google Classroom. That's the first reason. The second reason is maybe you're a job share teacher. Uh, my fifth grade student last year had a teacher that was at school on Monday, Tuesday, every other Friday, and the other teacher was there Wednesday, Thursday, every other Friday. We've also had split teachers where maybe one teacher taught in the morning and the other teacher uh, job shared in the afternoon. So that's another way uh, or another reason that you would want a co-teacher. And the third reason would be that you wanna let somebody else look at your classroom and have them give you ideas and tips on how to make your Google Class better. Now, what we are currently doing as an administration is we asked all of our teachers that are using Google Classroom, which is about half of them are using Google Classroom, half of them are using Canvas, is we ask them to share their classes with us and make us a co-teacher. Not because we're spying on them, but because we're, we just wanna see what they're asking kids to do. So when parents email or when parents call, as an administration, we can go in and look and see, oh, yep, this assignment, this is what they're doing. I can help walk you through this. Um, again, the first reason is because you're an IEP or a co-teacher. The second reason would be as a job share teacher. The third reason would be to share with an administration or another staff member that's going through. So let's jump into it. This is what it would look like. So we're gonna pull up uh, Google Classroom. I have all of my classes listed here. And what you'll see here is I have actually been invited by a lot of different people. I could scroll down and show you um, 40 or 50 invites to be a co-teacher. We asked our teachers to invite us into every class. And we've jumped into at least one section of that class, right? So this seventh grade language arts, ELA, um, she asked for four periods. We've jumped into one of those classes in administration to look and see uh, what they're doing in that class. We've done that with all of our teachers. Now, right here, this is my test class just for tutorials in Google um, Classroom. So I'm gonna open this up right here and you'll see this is a test class for Google tutorials. I want an ad, I want to add another teacher or a co-teacher in this class so they can go in and assign things and assess things and grade things and post things and share things however you're gonna do it, right? Super easy. And I know the buildup took a long time, but let's get to people. And uh, I'm gonna remove people that I have already actually asked. That was my principal and the other assistant principal. So we can just show you how to do that really quick. So we remove them. Now, you, right here where you click on teachers, just this little guy right here, click on there, and then you type in an email. Now that's our principal. I wanna invite him so he will now be a co-teacher in my Google Classroom test class for Google Tutorials. I know that was super hard and it took a little bit more longer, a little bit longer than it maybe should have, but I wanted to explain the why before the how. And so there was a little bit more um, cohesiveness and why you're doing what you're doing. Again, if you found value in this tutorial, we would ask that you would give it a thumbs up, a like, subscribe, share this with other teachers in your district. Thank you for watching. I appreciate what you do as educators, especially during this time and everything that's happening in the world. You do make a difference for kids. I love you, I appreciate you, and I'm glad that you're here.